Hey there, gamers. Today we have some exciting news for all the Genshin Impact fans out there. A new leak from the game is sharing the first details about the gameplay for three upcoming Fontaine characters expected to launch early in the region's cycle. Fontaine has been heavily teased both in-game and out-of-game, with in-game lore and character dialogue depicting it as a highly advanced region with superior technology to the rest of Teyvat and Justice as a primary motif and leaks have also given players a first look at many of the region's upcoming characters. Liney and Lynette have been two of the longest rumored characters for the region, and several leaks have hinted at both the elements and rarities for these characters. Now, leaks are giving the first idea of how each character, along with the heavily rumored Hydro Archon, will play. A new update from Genshin Impact leaker Uncle YC via well-known leaker Tao has revealed the first details about Liney, Lynette, and the heavily rumored foe colors. Lynette is revealed to play the role of an off-screen support character as an Anemo Sword user, confirming previous leaks about her element. Liney is confirmed to be the third Pyro Bow character added to Genshin Impact, playing the role of a charged attack DPS similar to characters like Tignari and Ganyu. Foe colors, referred to as Hydro Archon, will reportedly revolve around HP and feature a special damage-increasing method. While no hard information has come out from Hoyoverse about the three characters, many leaks have already started to speculate about their debut. Lynette is expected to launch as one of the first playable characters from Fontaine. Believed to be releasing with version 4.0, the post was unable to confirm a launch date for Liney or Fokellers, though other leaks have suggested Fokellers may become playable in version 4.2. Several other characters including Mondstadt's Varka and another member of the Fatui's Harbingers are rumored to be appearing following the Fontaine update, and leaks have shown off plenty more about the Hydro region, with recent leaks starting to give an idea about the layout of Fontaine, sitting north of Sumeru and northwest of Liyu. The region is also expected to feature several water-based puzzles and even underwater mechanics, given its association with the Hydro Archon. Exciting times are ahead for Genshin Impact players as the game's next region, Fontaine, is expected to launch this summer. And with leaks giving us a glimpse of what's to come, we can't wait to see what surprises and challenges await us in this highly advanced and water-based region. Don't forget, Genshin Impact is available now for PC, PS4, PS5, and mobile devices, with a Switch version in development. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.